Welcome to the first of our Lenten Reflections. I think we need to start with an overview of the method or strategy that we will be using for these uh, reflections. They are designed to help the catechumens who are on their way to the sacraments of initiation at Easter time to make sense of the journey they have made thus far. It is based upon a series of scriptural images, a six in all for each of the six weeks of Lent. Allow me to list them. The first week focuses on the experience of desert or wilderness. The second week is a mountaintop experience. The third week compares the difference between a well and a fountain for obtaining water. The fourth week is a double theme of light and sight, darkness and blindness. The fifth week focuses on the grave and what one could experience there. The sixth and last looks at the cross and its meaning for us. This first uh, week, as I mentioned, uses the scriptural image of desert and wilderness. The first reading for the first Sunday uh, of Lent uh, reminds us of what happened at the very beginning of humankind, which was created not only in the image but the likeness of God and experience life as something uh, that could be uh, likened to a garden, a paradise. But this paradise was lost by original sin, and the first humans experienced themselves now falling into something like a desert or a wilderness where they felt completely unhinged and insecure. And so they had to simply look to their own resources and try to recreate their own paradise based, unfortunately, upon imaginary or mythical uh, view of, of the world. Now, the, the Jewish people uh, at their beginning, as the 12 tribes of Jacob, found themselves in such a false paradise in Egypt. But they were called out of there by the agent of God, Moses, who proposed that there was a promised land available to them. But they would have to be willing to leave the modest security they had in Egypt and to go into a wilderness or desert experience. Fortunately, they were willing to be thus tested, and off they went. And once in the Promised Land, they were be beginning to experience now a better and a, a solid security that was connected to the institutions that God helped them put together. Uh, the law of the land where they now were the liturgy that helped them surrender themselves and depend totally upon him. Uh, memories of the liberation they experienced and of the covenant that God had made with them. Now this, however, was uh, just the beginning of the refinding of Paradise Lost, and more would have to come. And this is where Jesus fits into the picture. He experienced, of course, that modest security of the Old Testament during his life in Nazareth. But at a certain point, he was willing to leave that and to go into the wilderness as the people had done before him and to be tested by all kinds of chaotic experiences such as ignorance and sin, suffering and death, 
a suffering and death that he too underwent when he was charged with treason and condemned to death. But his resurrection from the grave, which was a glorious one, brought back what had been lost, that paradise. He reestablishes not only the, the image of God, but the likeness of God, which was part of original justice. And he gives us a, a sense of the future in which we too will be totally secure when our humanity passes from this preliminary security to the total at-homeness with God that we will experience in a glorious way after death. My friends, the catechumens can identify, I think, with what we have said in a very particular way because they, like the Jewish people and Jesus himself, have been willing to take a chance and to move out of the whatever security they have felt in the past and to look at other possibilities. Possibilities offered first in the Old Testament and then in the New so that finally they can choose on their own uh, that which will truly satisfy them. But for you and for me who are already baptized and initiated into the church, we too need this Lenten season in which we choose to re-enter the wilderness to some extent um, by backing away from the routine of our lives in, in certain ways and at certain times in order to rediscover what Jesus has brought, which, which restores what was lost and points to the ever more perfect future that awaits us. And so on this uh, uh, first week of Lent, we start on our way to Easter with a series of images that can help us uh, to put the pieces of the puzzle together uh, this year. Thank you for your attention.